Welcome back to another video on my channel. I've been inactive for I think more than one month but now I'm back with an with a super helpful video I can promise you that um, and it's about creating embeds for SVGs so that you can easily change the color of your um, images in this case your embeds inside of Webflow without having to export another color for the icon that you want to have in from Figma and it's super easy it requires a little bit of custom code but no worries I'm not a programmer myself and I am managed to get it done and it's super easy I can promise you that and I'll guide you through the whole process of creating this um, it will work with embeds so you'll need the paid version of Webflow and if you don't have the paid version of Webflow, no worries, um, maybe one day you will have it, so you should still watch the video in my opinion, just so that you know about it. And yeah, without any further talking, let's start right away. So we are inside of our Webflow build and we want to change the color of those images here. But normally we just can't change the color of images. Those are just SVGs. And yeah, we just can't change the color. We would have to go into Figma or Sketch or whatever you're using and export another color of this image here in order to have a different color. But with the SVG embeds, it's super easy for you. So yeah, I'll just show how to do this really quickly. So at first, um, you want to add to the assets here and you'll click this little icon here and open the information up in a new tab it will open automatically and here you can view the page source and you will have this code here so just um, control A will just select everything then I'll copy it and inside of the Webflow project I'm just placing an SVG embed here. No, I'm just placing an HTML embed and here I'm pasting the code, which is, um, which you can just see here. And I'll delete the width uh, so that we have more flexibility in our controls in our project. And I'll just set the height to 100%. So the height will just be inherited from the value that we select in the designer. And then um, you want to scroll to the end of the path and right now there is a color here which defines the current color and we want to change this to um, we also want to remove the hashtag and then here current color just current color like this super simple and now we'll save and close and then I'll just create a class for this um, star icon I can set a width of for example 24 pixels and a height of 24 pixels and you can already see that it has another color than those images here because it inherits the color that we have for the typography right now it's defined um, from the body here but we could just um, change the color here and it will immediately change uh, for the star even on the designer I'll just um, delete this for a second and now I'll just um, delete the different SVG icons that I had in here and I'll paste this a couple of times in here so that it just is the same structure as before and now we can just super easily uh, change the color and it will change for every single of those stars here because we're just using classes here that's pretty simple so if we want to have it like this then yeah already finished and you don't even have to publish the site to see if it works or not because since this is an html um, css embed this will also work in your designer preview that's it 